Uh, basically, right now, what I'm going to be doing is going over everything I do before a tournament. So, of course, you know, you want to make sure all your tackle is good, make sure your battery is charged. I do have a trolling mode on my kayak, so I am running lithium batteries. Uh, I am running Amp Outdoor and Dakota Lithium batteries. I kind of like both of these. My Amp Outdoor is a 60 amp hour battery, and this one here is a 10 amp hour battery, but it, it pretty much never dies. Uh, um, with that, man, so basically, you know, pretty much all fishing, they go through the lake, man. They get out here and, you know, do some little Google map or using nav uh, Navionics and scoping out the lake. So we do have a choice to fish between four different lakes and I'm choosing the biggest out of all these lakes so I can actually get out there and possibly have a nice place to fish without people all around me, man. <clears throat> uh, I would say up north people do normally get out there and ski and all that stuff. So I feel like I need to catch a lot of fish early, you know, within the first two or three hours to secure this win. So stay tuned. I got my GoPros and everything ready. I will be recording for the whole entire time. Um, yeah, hopefully I can take this victory home. Peace. So I pretty much got everything situated. Um, everything is loaded in my cargo under the kayak here. Um, I did run a test on everything to make sure my lights are working. This is the time of the year to where you want to get out on the lake at least by 4.30. And you're actually out there camping waiting so you can actually fish i think the tour tournament starts at well, i believe 5 30 so it may take me a little bit of time to get to my spot to relax maybe scope out a few things before i actually fish so that's pretty much it so i'm gonna finish loading this up drop the seat i'm gonna put my cover on and we're done So that's pretty much it. Kayak is already good to go, strapped up. Um, I personally like to keep my kayak wrapped when I'm driving, um, just in case I may have forgot any hooks that I have laid down there so I can actually protect other people from getting flat tires from my shenanigans. So I always keep my kayak covered and that's it, man. So everything is already loaded up, loaded up and I'll probably be on the lake at, uh, five o'clock and I think the event starts at 5 30 so um, hopefully I can put some fish up on the board probably between 5 30 and 9 o'clock I want to have a full bag limit to where I'm actually calling out for the rest of the day but hey stay tuned hopefully we can take this victory to the house and I'll see you later good morning everybody man so it is about 3 45 um, I'm headed to the lake I probably got another I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Um, it is light and windy. Uh, I do got jigs, so of course today I'll be doing a lot of flipping and pitching. Um, probably fish a few docks today, but I really don't know what to expect today, man. I'm just looking out here to have fun and probably try to get this win, but man, I like to get my myself in the grind, time, show, play a little music before I get out there. I keep it All right, so I just arrived to the lake here. It's approximately 4.30, which is an hour away from, you know, lines in. So I got my kayak already set up. Normally I don't run five rods, but today I'm actually gonna be throwing five rods because I don't know why. We're gonna see what's gonna be going on today. But yeah, today should be an awesome day, man. I haven't fished this lake here and maybe a year and a half, probably two. And one of the main reasons is because once it gets like nine or 10 o'clock, the recreational boaters get out here and they go crazy. So it's really hard for me to really sit down and catch some fish, man. So we're gonna see what we can do today. We're gonna keep it simple and see if we can take this victory home, man. So. <laughs> First bass of the day. 
Oh, yes. All right. Yes. Hey, that was worth every bit of it. All right. So we're gonna clamp this fish. We got one down. Let's get this fish measured. So, so my goal today is to really hustle and get this five bag limit before the traffic get crazy out here. And then I'm gonna start culling these fish up, man. Perfect, man. All right, so, ow, 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 ow. Damn, fish here. Get my Ray-Bans messed up. I finally found them, man. They're sitting out here, and I'm fishing probably uh, two foot of water right now. Uh, throwing my uh, ripple stick here. So, let's clamp this girl. I wanna hurry up and really try to fish hard because I know the time is coming to an end to where people are literally about to start coming out here. So, I knew sooner or later I was gonna find some fish and I stayed consistent and I, I finally found them. Had to turn the camera off for a little bit, but, and she thumped it pretty good twice. So let's get this fish measured. Nah, this is a, this is a musky. So it's been it's been so difficult to actually keep recording and fishing because the bass are like all over the place. This is actually number what five for me. I did literally just miss one probably an hour ago. So I'm just trying to stay consistent and uh, keep posting some fish, man. Now that I got my my limit here, my five bag limit, five bass limit. I'm gonna get this one measured here. And we're gonna try to. So for a quick recap, uh, my day is going relatively decent. I just caught me a 16 inch bass. Um, I think I caught my bag limit at around, uh, Right back in front of me. Huh. 
beautiful cast. talking about baby oh man i flipped in it like 20 times man let's go baby oh man oh hey this is gonna be a great cold fish right here yeah let's go Ooh, man, it's gonna be a great fish to put on the board. Oh, man. What's up, everybody? So today was um, fun. I finished fifth place out of 26. I caught anywhere between, I don't know, 13, 16 bass, somewhere around there. A lot of those fish I couldn't even call out. I think I caught my bag limit probably around 9.30-ish, maybe a little bit sooner, but I was spending a lot of time trying to call these fish out. I ended up calling out four of my bass. When everything was done, I think my total score before I started culling my fish out was probably 60 some inches, man. So going from, well, probably 55. So going from like 55, 60 inches all the way up to 71, I was I was really booking it, man. I caught one fish off of the dock and the whole entire dock was completely covered in grass, but I was able to get my little right underneath there and uh, you know secure that fish. And it actually took five casts under that dock to actually catch that fish. But it just looked too good not to even um, cast under there. And that, I was getting that small transition until the docks were starting to trans transition into deeper water. So I'm like, yeah, dude, it's probably at least three or four foot deep under that dock. Man, the grass came all the way up to the top. So yeah, good event, man. So again, my next event is July 24th, Bassmasters, Tennessee, man. Top five finishing that will be awesome. I'm sure it's gonna be at least 100. 20 130 anglers in that event man um i did fish one last year finished 43rd out of 126 had a great time looking to do that again this year with that man thanks for watching if you're watching my videos hit that like and subscribe button leave me a comment um in the section below and uh let me know what i'm doing man but you guys have a wonderful saturday and we're out peace